hello and welcome to another interesting video brought to you by softlinks and today we're going to talk about game development actually this is a guide on how you can become a game developer if you are so passionate about building your own games or maybe you want to start a career on game development meanwhile game development is an exciting career imagine the games you might be playing since your childhood and as a game developer getting an opportunity to develop those games or maybe other games that you can imagine before we start please be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more upcoming videos so without any further ado let's get started as an absolute beginner there are many programming technologies that can be used for game development such as python java javascript c sharp c plus plus and many more but for game development, there are two absolute winners, which are c -sharp and C++. These are the two prominent languages in the field of game development, which are very powerful. When you're familiar with maybe c -sharp or C++, your further parts will be decided and other languages as according to your requirements. Some of the concepts you should focus when getting started are object-oriented programming using C++ or c -sharp working with events, working and integrating with front-end, exception handling and motor trading. Secondly, you should pick up a game engine, also known as game architecture or game framework. A game engine is a software development environment designed for game developers. There are many game engines available such as GameMaker, OpenGL, Unity, Unreal Engine and a lot more. But all of these, I would recommend you going with Unity or Unreal Engine since they are the most powerful tools. Unity uses C Sharp whereas Unreal Engine uses C++. So after learning Unity and C Sharp, you should be able to build logic in your games. But your game will not look good like other games in the real world games. Meanwhile, you need to design characters, environments for your games. So you need to learn some game design softwares. We recommend Blender. It is a free and open source software for building 3D design models. You can use it to create models for your games and it is also used for animations. So it's really a great choice to learn Blender for your design. Lastly, I want to talk about a very important aspect in game development, which is artificial intelligence. AI has been a growing resource for video games for the last few years now. Most video games, whether they are racing games, shooting games, or strategy games, they have various elements that are controlled by artificial intelligence. However, AI plays an important role in modern world game development. So to have a clear understanding, let's take a look at this wonderful example on which AI was built to defeat humans in a game. StarCraft has imperfect information and is played in real time. It also requires long-term planning and the ability to choose what action to take from millions and millions of possibilities. I'm hoping for a 5-0 not to lose any games, but I think the realistic goal would be 4-1 and one in my favor. I think he looks more confident than Tilo. Right, Tilo was quite nervous better. before. The room was much more tense this time. I really didn't know what to expect. He's been playing StarCraft pretty much since he's 5. I wasn't expecting the AI to be that good. Everything that we did was proper, it was calculated and it was done well. I thought I'm learning something. Yes! Yes! It's much better than I expected it to be. I would consider myself a good player, right? But I lost every single one of five games. We're way ahead of one. So, as you just saw on the previous video, Artificial intelligence continues to be a way used by engineers to bring video games to life. Video games are now being trained by AI to study their own patterns so as to improve their own algorithms, which are just one of the many ways that AI is becoming more advanced. So this is everything you require to become a game developer. The thing is, you need to practice every day after learning the basics. If you practice everything daily, you will become an expert at game development. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any question, you can comment down in the comment section. 
don't forget to like and subscribe and see you and as always take care Thank you.